Hey everyone, we're back here with the Gigabyte GA7 PESH2 and this time um, we've swapped out the power supply to a 1000 watt gold rated power supply from EVGA. It's the EVGA 1000 GQ, fully modular. Uh, pretty awesome power supply and uh, I like it. It's got eco mode which means the fan doesn't even turn on until it needs to. So you're saving like, I don't know, 3 watts or something there. But uh, it's cool, it's quiet, and um, hopefully you can hear or maybe can't hear the computer. Um, but like I said in the last video, it's all open and uh, running right in front of you. So um, any noise you hear pretty much I think is just down to the uh, liquid cooling pumps right now. And just a quick overview of the hardware. We've got five fans in here. We've got two 80mm Arctics, three 120mm Arctics. EVGA CL11 120mm AIO liquid coolers, dual E5 2620 uh, socket 11 Xeons, or socket 2011 Xeons, and 16 4 gig sticks of DDR3 ECC registered 1.5 volt, and a Zotac GTX 1080. Um, and like I said in the last video, the 1080 is hard locked at 1.0 volts right now so that's not going to change um, and it is contributing to the idle power usage of this so um, if you're running a headless server the idle power usage will be lower for sure um, but we're looking at about 160 watts right now at idle which I believe is the same as the last one even though this is a gold rated power supply so not a whole lot different there but we'll see what happens once we step up the load and um, we're going to do IDA64 uh, full synthetic and this is going to be 100% load and we'll see what um, you know what our power usage is once it levels out and gets running So we're looking at about 268 to 271 watts, we'll call it 270, and um, with the bronze power supply we're looking at about 280 watts, so we're saving 10 watts at full load. Uh, that's not a whole lot. So the pricing of the 850 bronze power supply was, at the time it was $39.99 and um, that was EVGA B stock. This 1000 watt gold was $100 EVGA B stock. Uh, although I believe, even though it was B stock, th sold through the B stock store, it was sold as new. Um, it came in brand new packaging and everything like that, all sealed up and full, you know. I mean, there's other benefits besides the fact that it's just gold rated. Obviously it's a bigger power supply. It's got eco mo mode, it has nicer cables. Um, it has a 12 year warranty versus I think five years on the 850. So there's other things to consider with the price, but if you're going f purely for, for the uh, power standpoint, um, saving 10 to 15 watts at full load, uh, you're never gonna make up the cost difference in, in, uh, you know, in power usage. It's just not gonna happen. And I can calculate it out how much, I mean, just go to any power cost calculator and type in 15 watts or 20 watts over uh, you know 24 7 365 for a year at I don't know whatever your kilowatt not kilowatt uh, yeah your cents per kilowatt is and it's gonna come out to like a dollar or two it's it's not gonna be very much so um, just something to consider and you saw it drop down to like 265 270 so I would say 270 is going to be our peak here, so it's about 10 watts less than the bronze power supply. So we're going to stop this test and we will move on to um, Hitman and Rise of the Tomb Raider.
that four terabyte hard drive that's in there is louder than some of the fans you can really hear it through and uh, it's just you know it's just seeking it's just reading obviously our performance isn't going to be any different here uh, we just swap power supplies so this will be the same but we're just looking for um, peak power usage and it hasn't been too much so far 270 285, 297. I believe we're at 310 uh, on the bronze. So we're looking for any number really underneath that. Obviously, it's going to be lower. Um, 297 was the peak that I saw there. And if you guys happen to spot any differences in numbers that I'm calling out here, uh, feel free to comment below and I'll make a correction into the description. 298, 302. So we'll call it 300 is, uh, is our peak here. So it's going to be about, again, 10 watts less than, than the uh, 850 bronze. So I, I wonder how much of that wattage is due to the eco mode of this power supply. And maybe we can actually test that. Let's pull up Ida again. And since Ida, since Ida can do a full stable 100% load, um, it should level out the power pretty pretty significantly at around like 270. And then I'll flip off eco mode and see if that power supply fan turns on. And, and uh, I wonder how much of the wattage difference is accounting for the fan not being on. So I'll wait for it to sort of level off. Uh, we're about 270. Two seventy two. All right, so we're between two seventy and two seventy four on the lower end, so we're probably about two seventy one, two seventy two. I'm gonna flip off this fan. And you see we already jumped to two seventy five. Now we're even lower. Interesting. All right, I just turned the fan off again, so we're done. Uh, 265, 267. All right, let's try to turn the fan on again. 265, that's our lowest. And the fan is probably taking about two or three watts. So again, minimal, but uh, it is nice to have that eco mode and reduces the fan noise a little bit. So I would say about three to five watts you're saving with that fan. So ultimately, I think the difference between the, uh, the bronze and the gold PSU is about five watts, at least on this system. Obviously, as you get into the higher wattages, um, you'll notice the difference more. But a lot of these systems are more power efficient than most people realize. Uh, people think dual Xeons are extremely power hungry and uh, you know they're just going to wreck your power bill. That's absolutely not the case. I have this one pretty fully kitted out with exception of the processors. And again, I have a GTX 1080 in here, so that's pulling quite a bit of power as well. Um, so it would be even less without it. And uh, maybe I'll do a video on it without the GTX 1080 if I can get a VGA set up or something like that, but it's not that important. I, I think it's, you know, you get the idea. Just uh, finish off with Tomb Raider here.
And last I remember this topped out around 360 or 370. about 325 watts in this first scene power supply fan still hasn't turned on Three hundred and fifty watts there. So overall, I think we're looking at about ten watts, maybe fifteen watts lower than the bronze power supply. And, uh, Ultimately, uh, in, in conclusion, I don't think that it's worth going to a gold-rated power supply. Even over the span of three to four years, I don't think you're going to make all of that money back uh, from that bronze power supply. Um, I might do some testing. I think I have an 80% 80, 80 white power supply and a non-80% power supply. I think that'll be more interesting. Obviously, those are going to take more power than either of these two, but... My recommendation right now, stick to 80 plus bronze if, uh, if you're looking at power supplies in general. And if you want to spring for a better deal, say there's a, you know, a 80 plus gold for 60 bucks or something like that, and it's only $20 more, it might be worth it, honestly. Um, but don't let, don't let it hinge, you know, your power supply decisions, don't let it hinge on whether it's 80 plus bronze or gold. Uh, you're going to get about the same power usage at the wall, which is really where it's important. Um, so yeah, I hopefully, hopefully this video is helpful and it shed some light on power usage and the differences between 8 plus bronze and gold. If you have any questions, please, please ask. Uh, join the Discord. Um, feel free to ask on Reddit. There's a huge community of people willing to answer your questions and uh, eager to answer your questions. So um, thank you for everyone that's supporting me on Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next video.